All righty. So we're going to go ahead and get started. It's so nice to meet everybody. My name is Angel Robinson. Going to be your instructor for this month. I'm so excited. Can everybody see me okay? All right. <laughs> Great. All right, so we're getting started. Just giving everybody just a minute to come in to the session. All right. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and start with our slides and, and things like that and kind of go over everything that you can expect for this month and also our first our first lesson of the month as well. So I'm looking forward to it. And as I said before, if you all would like to unmute, please feel free to do so. However, if you aren't going to actually say anything, go ahead and mute yourselves. Pretty please. And whenever you're ready to speak, you can just unmute. All right. There we go. And just let me know as soon as you can see the slideshow. Yes, can see it. Yay. All righty, good. <laughs> Thank you for everybody who's either unmuting or typing in the chat. It really helps to make sure that we have everything that we need it moving forward when it comes to whether or not you can see everything and everything else that I ask you throughout the session today. So as I said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we are in behavioral science week one. Woo -woo! So exciting. I don't know if any of you are in Florida, I'm in Florida. So we're gonna, just gonna get to know each other a little bit real quick. If you would like, you can just go to your the top of your screen, and if you go to annotate, you're able to um, click on that, and then you can mark where you are on the map so that we can all kind of get a chance to see that. Everybody see that? Okay, thank you, Clarence. Thank you, Amber. All right, all right. Brittany, thank you, Harold. Thank you, Harold, Justin, Angeline. Let's see. Oh, great, we have some Indiana, Tennessee, North Carolina, Florida. I'm in Florida. <laughs> Let's see. Rhode Island. Oh, cool. Wait, no, Massachusetts. This is so exciting. We have people from everywhere today. Oh, that's so much fun. Usually I get a lot of Florida or I get some California in Texas. We have some people in Texas. So I don't know why this is coming up on the screen. One moment. Let's see. Okay, one moment. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and clear that out. And we'll get back to our slides. Okay, so it's so good to see where everybody is from. Welcome, welcome everyone. Nice to meet you. Again, I'm Angel Robinson. We're just gonna have a chance to really go over all of the lessons that we're gonna do today. Take a quick look at the uh, workbook and answer any questions you may have about your assignments and things like that. So we'll be able to answer quite a few questions. That's the advantage of 
joining the live lecture as opposed to the recording. You get to ask whatever questions you want and you don't have to go back later and look at it. But you can if you want to. So we're just gonna go over some of the rules really quick about the live class and Zoom uh, when it comes to learning here at Los Angeles Film School and in this class in particular, because we wanna make sure that everybody's comfortable, everybody knows what's expected of them. Everybody is able to really just kind of dive into the material that we have as well as really understand the expectation. So um, to, I just wanna make sure again that everybody has their audio on. We hope that you can put on your camera. It just helps when it comes to interaction. And sometimes I don't necessarily get a chance to read all of the comments that are put into the uh, chat. However, I can see the reaction of students a lot of times if you do have your camera on and I ask a question and I can see the nods or the, the whatever, the excitement on your face when we're talking about something or the laugh. So it's really great to be able to have that interaction because we are again online. So it just helps to bring uh, the experience um, more to life for you. And for me, I get to see your faces, yay. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. I'm a very excited person. Uh, it's not constant, but it's there. And I'm not gonna apologize about it because that's what it is. So um, I just want you all to make sure that we kind of follow these rules. When it comes to your mics and your audio, as I already went over, I really encourage you to unmute if you would like to speak. Please do. I'm happy to hear your lovely voices. However, if you're not speaking, make sure that you mute again. I just don't want to accidentally hear anything that's going on in your house, um, any personal information. And it's kind of hard to hear when other things are happening in the background. So for all of those reasons, and for all of these reasons, we need to make sure that we mute if you're not speaking. Okay, so if I'm asking a question or whatever, you can go ahead and unmute for that, which everybody pretty much knows, but it's written because maybe you didn't know, so. I want you to also let me know if you're hearing me, if you do hear me, if you don't, if you're, if you would like to unmute and just kind of let me know what's happening, things like that. Um, let's see, Lewis says, is it okay that you all see me while I'm working? Of course it is. It's wonderful. I invite you to do so. As long as, <laughs> as long as you are dressed appropriately, you're fine. So as it says in this slide right here, when your mic is unmuted, please make sure that your background and noise and all, and all that good stuff, your TV, uh, people aren't talking in the background, you know, you're just answering the question and then you go back to mute again. You'll hear like some very light classical and, and or jazz music in the background as a part of this experience that I have for you all, just to kind of have everybody relax and really kind of just wind down and get the information in and make sure that we enact that other part of your brain. As far as my music major people, you know that when you start enacting that other part of your brain, you can really get more of the information. It does something to really just, as I said, relax your brain, get you in a different place so that you can absorb some of the information that we're given tonight, okay? I, I want to ask one question. Yes. Uh, earlier in the last session, I was told that I wasn't able to be heard clearly. So I want to see if that's still going on, if that's still an issue. Oh, Mr. Benjamin, I oh. can hear you loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got you. <laughs> we can hear you. If I can't hear you, I'll let you know. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you. Is it Anicia? Yes, Anicia, you said it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> how exciting well I'm glad I could do that okay great so I'm glad that everybody you know I love the questions this is the time to ask you can ask anytime however this is the time to ask so you can make sure that you're comfortable like I said for the entire run of our live lessons so we love to see you as I said turn your cameras on if you want to it's not a thing that we force you to do however it's encouraged uh, but everybody's not in a place to do that, or they may not be comfortable with that. So we don't want to push you into somewhere you're not comfortable with. However, we just, uh, my hair is not, my hair is not, this is, 
It's okay. It's, yeah, I know. I keep messing with my hair because I feel yeah, like I'm doing it right now, braiding it. So it's look. I don't want y'all to ever see me like this. Oh, it's okay. I'm on a character on a movie. <laughs> no problem. No problem. We appreciate you letting us know. Thank you. So if you want to, like I said, if you want to turn on your camera, great. If not, that's fine too. You can use virtual backgrounds as long as everything's appropriate. So yes, we're all adults. However, since you're in a learning environment, we have to make sure everything is appropriate. And that comes to, excuse me, language, attire, all of that. So we just, it's just a part of the educational environment. We have to make sure that everybody is following the student code of conduct and all of that stuff. I don't make the rules up. However, I am one of the people that makes sure that everybody is respecting the rules, okay? And that's it. Easy as easy as pie. So virtual backgrounds are invited. I love them. Some people make their own and they have really cool backgrounds and everything like that. But again, just make sure everything's appropriate. So again, this is about the attire. The virtual backgrounds must be appropriate for class. We already talked about that. In the chat box, we want to make sure that we are using it as a great way to meet and communicate with your classmates during the session because again, it just makes us all kind of come closer together as a part of the course and make the virtual experience even more enjoyable for everyone. So that's awesome. However, we wanna make sure that um, if you are gonna go ahead and chat in there, that you use it to ask and answer questions from the instructor most of the time. It's not used for just talking and talking and talking to each other because sometimes it can get bogged down and then people have questions and their questions are all the way at the bottom because I don't know, people start talking about their pets or their where they went this weekend and things like that. So we've never really had that happen. However, you always want to just remind people because you don't know if you if I don't tell you, right? I can't expect you to just read my mind. So keep that in mind. Also keep the language in the chat professional and positive. What does that mean? That means if you have no idea where, if you were coming into a new professional atmosphere and it's professional, you would usually come in using appropriate language, positive language, things like that. We, we want to make sure that we're encouraging people. If somebody may put something in there or say something that maybe you don't quite understand or it doesn't really make that much sense to you, we don't want to call them out. Well, that made no sense. So we don't want to do that because that hurts people's feelings. Not everybody understands things the same way. So we're here to encourage each other. We're here to make sure that we are supporting and encouraging our classmates if you don't have anything nice to say you know not to say nothing just keep it to yourself okay if you have a question you can always ask me but again we want to stay encouraging positive professional in our language and in our interactions with each other Benjamin says uh there's a foster uh, before I came to Alan Foster I live in uh San Diego much I missed about it oh that's so sweet Oh, thank you for sharing. I also want you all to make sure that you understand that the chat is recorded as well as the actual session that we're doing. So the chat itself is recorded as well. So the words that you put into the chat, that's all recorded. So whatever you type in there is gonna be a part of the recording for the class. So when people go look it up, they'll see it in there. So just make sure you're staying appropriate. And since the class is recorded, you may be within that, but it'll only go to the classes that I teach. So the, the two classes that I teach, those are the ones that will be able to see it. So just keep that in mind as well. But again, we love to see your face. So if you would like to stay, put your camera on, we'd be happy to see it. So now we're gonna, if you didn't get a chance to enter your location on the map, you can share it in the chat box if you would like. So it's up to you. So we have behavioral science week one motivation. We're gonna talk quite a bit about motivation today. Oh, we have Walker Jones. Oh my gosh, I love your name. Walker Jones from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh my goodness, I love it. You're like a country song, I love it. Let's see, Stephen Watts from California, Wyatt from Arizona. Hashan, is it Hashan from Seattle, Washington? Did you say that right? Hmm. It moves so fast. 
Come on. Okay, Sean from Louisiana. Lewis from San, um, San Antonio, Texas. Oh, I love San Antonio. It's so beautiful. Ryan. Let's see, Ryan from St. Louis. Oh, great. Thank you, Hashad. I'm glad I said it right. <laughs> George from Texas. Justin from Tennessee. Hohenwald. Is that how you said it? How? That's pretty cool. I just want to visit it because of the name. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> Richard from um, Rhode Island. And oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Amber from Indiana. So I'm glad that you all shared where you're coming from. I don't know if you all are aware, but I'm in Florida, like I said, but if you, I don't know if you're aware, but we have a hurricane a coming. That's how we announce our hurricanes. We say they're a coming. So um, we, you know, we get all nice and prepped for it. Everybody goes crazy and buys all the water in all the world. Uh, and then we just sit around and watch the rain and the, the wind. Hopefully that's all we do <laughs> and nothing else happens. So um, I appreciate the students that have already- So one about El Paso, Texas, is that two inches of rain here will flood the city because we're on a we're on a plane. So uh, we, we can't even handle two inches of El Paso. Our streets will get flooded. So uh, oh I hope you all grow it is cutting out a little bit, but I did hear what you said. So if it if you get at least two days of rain, you'll start flooding. Is that right? Two inches. Two inches. Oh my two god! Inches. Oh my god. Yeah, it will rain two. here sometimes with the hurricanes for like two, three. Sometimes I think the longest we had was four days. Now that was a lot of flooding, but so we'll get like two days, one to two days, just straight rain and wind and blowing and things flying everywhere. So. I mean, I've been here my whole life, so it's kind of, it's my norm. <laughs> June to November, hurricanes may be a coming, but you know, if you're new and maybe you don't know the flow of it, it could be kind of scary. Okay, Richard says his sister is in Florida, so hopefully she's hunkering down because that's what we do here. We hunker down. Okay, great. You lived here too. Okay. So I'm glad to see that everybody's here tonight and, and you're all from different places and everything. We got a chance to get to know each other a little bit. And I want to know kind of what program you might be in. If you want to share, what program are you in? Okay, George's film, Walker is, I'm sorry, George's audio, Walker's film. Ooh, it's moving fast. I love how fast you guys go. It just goes, let's see. Ashana's film, Richard is production, Trevor, animation, Steven is music production, Anicia, let's see what you got. Oh, it moved so fast. Where did you go? Digital film. Okay. Brittany, digital film. Let's see. It's so many people is moving so fast. So we have quite a few film, music production, and animation. That's so exciting. So I look forward to um, getting to know a little bit more about you all and your, your majors and things like that as we move along and do our discussion questions and all that good stuff. So you get to see a little bit about who your instructors are. Depending on whose class you were in, you may be in my class and taking my live lesson, or you could be in somebody else's class taking my live lesson because it works for your schedule or you just want to see well who is this angel lady let me see what she's doing so you never whatever your reason is welcome i'm just so happy to see you so you, if you're not aware already we have five instructors for behavioral science that we all work together as a team we all kind of cover the same information we just do it a little different a little bit different flavor on our on our dish when we present it to you that's the only thing that's different let's see Anissi says Amanda's class had to end because of technical difficulties. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, I tell you, I'm so glad that I'm on Mondays because I'm not sure how the Wednesday class is going to go this week. So hopefully, you know, everything will be working good. But if not, you'll have the, the recording from this class. And, you know, if you know anybody else in the, in the instructor right now doing their thing on different, different days, you can always tune into another live class. Let's see, Ryan says, you are my instructor. Okay, thank you, Ryan. How do I access my recordings just in a future reference? Hoshan, that's gonna be under the 1.1 1 .1 
or each week you have four lessons. You have a 1.1 this week. It's 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. 1.4. And as the weeks go along, it'll the second week will be 2.1, 2.3. You know, it'll just go like that. So your 0.1 lesson is your live lesson and live lesson question. So you'll have a recording of the live lesson and you'll have a question based on the recording and what we covered. Let's see, Lauren says, me too. Okay, I'm your instructor too, Lawrence. How exciting, T. Lawrence. Let's see. Justin, it's already up under 1.1. Just press play. Okay, great. Great. And Hashan, okay. Yep, you're welcome. Quick question. How long has the screenplay writing program been around? You know, I haven't looked into how long it's been around, but I know that it's it's been one of, one, well, all of the the majors that we have here and the um, the degrees are really, they're really great. I mean, all of the information that you get from them, all of the experience, the internships, all of that stuff has been so awesome. So I'm not sure how long it's been around, but I know it's doing really good. And I don't know if you all know this, but you know, they just had the Emmys, right? I'm so proud of the, um, the history and the legacy of Los Angeles Film School because if, I don't know if you tuned into the Emmys, but over 20 of the people that received Emmys this year are alumni from Los Angeles Film School. That, that's incredible. 20, over 20. <laughs> yes, that is, is pretty cool. Yes, so I just want you all to kind of think about that. This is where you're going. This is, this is the kind of thing that, that we we put out into the world and we're very proud of it. So to have the alumni and people from our school that that are in that, that circle of success is beautiful. And it's not just monetary or whatever, it's just personal achievements and success. It means so much to get that, that award in your hand from your peers and other people just letting you know, you did a great job. So Brittany, yeah, that is cool. And Benjamin says, what did, the shadows one for the best comedy. I'm not sure, but we have a whole list of all the of the people. If you go onto our website, I think they already put it up, but they tell us, you know, so that we can go, woo, get our, you know, get our little snaps or whatever. They let us know, and then we get to look it up and see all the the graduates and stuff. It's really exciting. Justin says, "I'm just trying to hit Billboard top ten, independent." There you go. Whoop. Good job, Justin. I hope you can make it as well. Just work hard. I'm very excited to see what you all can do. So these are all of our instructors. Me, Tafara, it's gonna be right here in the middle. Amanda, Brandy, and Natika. So if you get either of us, you're gonna be doing really great because everybody's super awesome. All right, let's get in there and get to our, <laughs> tackle our topics. <laughs> So again, this week we're going to talk about, um, today we're going to talk about the format of the class, the resources, the live lesson um, question, the book download, and kind of like a little bit about the discussion board. So we're going to take a little break from the slides and go over that really quickly. I just want to make sure that everybody is great when it comes to knowing what's expected of them and all that good stuff. So this is what it's going to look like for you when you go into the LMS. So as you can see, you have your welcome to behavioral science. And basically, I really need you to go in. You're going to just read through the information. You'll watch this videos of yours truly or your instructors kind of giving you a hello and introducing you to themselves and the um the the month as we move along and after you're done look at that all you have to do is just push mark as complete you got one thing done i urge you to please complete everything because when you get to the end and you have all the stuff completed it's just so much awesome sauce you don't know what to do with it so please just go ahead and get it done and then next, you're going to go into the syllabus. All you do is go through, look at the syllabus, make sure you really kind of go into depth with each part of it, looking at the live lessons. It just kind of goes over everything you can expect as far as the class and what we're expecting from you 
as far as what you submit while you're in the class. So moving on down the road, you're gonna go to the bottom and then easy as pie, boop, you're gonna hit that mark is complete, okay? And then the, where the meat starts to come in is week one, right here, motivation week one. So that's where we are now. And somebody asked me, hey, where is that, that recording gonna be? So usually it'll be right here, but I can't put the recording up until we're done with the actual live lesson. If we happen to have a, a week off for that week, then there will be a recording put up, you know, um, a little bit sooner, but the same day. However, since we're doing the live class now, after the class is over, it downloads all of that stuff and then I put it in there and it's available for you or the other students to watch that may have gone to another session or were at work or something like that. But after you watch the live, the live lesson, if you want to watch it, but if you've already done it live, you're good. You're going to read through this, then you answer this question. This is going to be a live question for today. Don't do it now, but just wait because we have to go through the lesson so you can know what I mean by motivation because it changes once we go in there. You want to make sure that you're answering it correctly, okay? What do you feel your main motivation for, the, for wanting to attend LAFS is? So that's going to be your question for today. Do not answer it yet. You're going to put your answer in there, write a response, save it, and then send the feedback. And that'll be your answer. Anybody have any questions about that? And again, the video will be right up here above this little paragraph. Once we're done, you'll see a video there, but you don't even have to worry about that because you're in the live class already. But for the people that are watching the recording. <laughs> okay, Clarence. <laughs> Should I redo it after? I mean, you have to watch and see if you need to redo it. However, we do urge, we didn't used to put the question up until after it was over, but now we put it up a little bit earlier because I have another class before me at three and somebody may have attended that class. So I just don't want them to have attended the, the three o'clock, uh, the three o'clock st Pacific Standard Time class and, not, and the question's not here yet. So we just have them up because we want you all to feel prepared and be able to answer questions as soon as you're done with the live lesson. Let's see, Sean, feedback. Yes, so you're going to save it and then you're gonna send feedback. But if you already see it in there, then you're good. So just make sure that you click the save and the feedback. And you'll see, it'll tell you that you've submitted it. No, that's how you, that's how you submit the answer to the live question. Sean, did you put the answer in there? I can't do it now because it doesn't let me do it in preview, but you just type it in there or you can, you can just type your answer under feedback or you can type it over here where it says completion. You type it right in there, hit save, and then you click send feedback. That's fine. That's fine, Sean. So as long as you see it in there, you should be good to go. And then the second thing that you're gonna do for this week is download your workbook. So your workbook needs to be downloaded by, what does it say here? By the 29th. So just make sure you look at these dates right here at the top. <clears throat> you see, it says, this is due in two days, eight hours and 30 minutes. So th <laughs> there's no question about when was it due? It's like right there. You just hover over it and it'll tell you. Harold, type in the response section. Yeah, you can type in the response section, that's fine. But you'll figure it out. You just type it in there and you, you click save and then you, you're good to go. If it, it should say submitted in there. So I just want you all to see that this is where you're going to download your workbook. And there are two, there are two different um, options for you. The first one is right here under step four. The first one is the week one motivation workbook PDF. If you have any problems downloading and uh, putting the answers into the PDF, form, there is an alternative right here, alternative workbook answer sheet. So that will allow you to put your answers there in case you have any trouble with inserting them in the PDF. Does that make sense, everybody? Again, some people, thank you, because some people have 
they don't have their tech kit yet. And again, if you don't have your tech kit, make sure you're checking your LAFS email. Do not check your regular email. You're gonna check your student email that was issued by us. I do not have anything to do with issuing out the tech kits when they're coming, any of that. That's gonna be through the tech department, which is IMT. So I don't know. I have a question about that uh, because I haven't received my tech kit yet because uh, um, uh, this is my second four weeks. Mm -hmm. And so uh, there's still kicking back to my uh, personal email account. So I know that's the department, but I'm having a turn hard to uh, circumventing that. Yes, and it's, it's interesting because some people do say that they had everything sent to their personal email account. However, as instructors, as I was saying, we don't have any information on when it's coming or anything like that. But they did let us know that it's imperative for you all to check your student email. The one that ends in at LAFS or at lafilmschool.edu. That's the one you have to check. And sometimes they send notices. You're going to be my professor. You're going to be my professor. So if I have any issues with that, I'll, I'll, I'll contact you if I have any issues with that. Yes. So uh, if you have, hopefully, if you have hopefully not. Issues, if you have any issues with getting your tech kit, I, have, I don't have any way to help you with getting that. However, um, um, IMT can help. So that's the tech department. And when you when you contact the help desk and let them know, hey, I have questions about such and such, they can help you with that. But I won't be able to help you with getting your tech kit anyway. That's why I like to tell you all uh, in the first class or so. That way you're not thinking, hey, let me contact her. Well, how come she isn't? Because I don't I really don't have a way to check on it either because it's all done through the tech department. So it's the IMT depart department. Um, you can always contact them. But I do want you all to keep in mind that that student email is the one that uh, that's what I was saying, that they will contact you for to make sure your address, confirm your address for your tech kit, all of that. And that makes sense because it's a very expensive tech kit. They don't want to accidentally send it to another address, maybe move. So they usually confirm your address and do things like that. All of that important stuff through your student email. You're at LA Film School. I'm oh, sorry, at lafilm.edu. Okay. says, So we could submit a Word doc instead. Yes. For the work for the workbook, if you are having any trouble accessing and filling in the PDF for the workbook, just download the alternative workbook answer sheet, and you'll be able to pull all of your answers in there. That way, you're not missing anything. Because if you have any trouble with downloading or the applications on your phones or anything like that, I don't have a way to troubleshoot that with you, again, that's going to be tech support. And tech support is open. They have great hours. They're open from, I believe, 8 a.m. until midnight Pacific Standard Time. So that means here in Florida, it's going to be even, you know, even even better hours because it's, it's we I have a bigger window when it comes to my time. Um, as opposed to um, the 8 a.m. So it's going to be really good opportunity for you all to see exactly how much you got going on, who you can talk to when it comes to your tech issues or any concerns that you have. Make sure you contact the tech department because Miss Angel Robinson <laughs> is not the tech department. As much as I want to help you, everybody has the different devices and you may not have this application, but you have this one. They can help you with all of that. So please contact them, okay? Let's see, Harold says we're supposed to be getting it in the third week of this semester. Yes, you are. Some people get it a little bit sooner. Some people get it right on time. Some people get it a little later. If you don't answer your email, sometimes it can delay it. So just make sure you're staying on top of your student email. Anthony says, can I go back and look at this class? What do you mean? When Once you move to the next class, can you come back and look at this class? Is that what you mean, Anthony? I'll let you answer that. Let's see how Sean says, okay, thank you. I just prefer using Word over PDFs. I understand you prefer using Word. That makes sense. Oh, today? Yes, you can go back. Once the class is over, you mean the live class? If you're talking about the live class, once the live class is over, it downloads, and then I put the video under that point one. 
that 1.1 for today. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and Hashan, you're welcome. I just want to make sure that you um, are aware, Hashan, that it's better if you do it in the PDF sometimes, especially when it comes to the workbooks for this, this, this month and moving forward. Just want you to kind of get used to it if you can, pretty please. Okay, just try, try. All righty, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. So this is going to be your point two. So every week, your point two is going to be your workbook. This week, it's 1.2 because it's week one. Uh, let's see, Sean says I had trouble with that. You had trouble with the PDF, Sean? Or what did you have trouble with? Yeah. So again, use this opportunity to contact IMT. Maybe they can help you with it. Because you never know if you need it in the next class, okay? So I would rather you all have it and choose whether or not you, you're using it. I'd rather you use the PDF, but I'd rather you have it than not have it and have trouble and need it. Does that make sense? Okay. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Go ahead on now. Tell them, Lucia. All right. So now we're going to go to the discussion. And again, I appreciate the support, Anisio. This one is going to be so detailed. Everything is so detailed. And I love that because even if you didn't see the live class and you're just going and trying to figure out how to do things, you can really just kind of get it going. Every part of it. You take your assessment to figure out your creative type. We're going to go through and then they tell you about each creative type. And then you're going to do your actual post for your discussion question. And then you'll do your replies as well. So when it comes to doing your post and all of that for your discussion questions, I really want you to look at this part right here. Thank you. Anisha. Creativity is often viewed as a rare talent that only special people possess or that is limited to artistic. Oh, that was really loud. Um, so this is going to be your video for this week. So it kind of started a little bit, but this is what I want you to know. This is what you can look forward to. It's only three minutes. It's not like it's going to be a huge, long video. It takes forever. You go to sleep, wake back up. It's still going. No. So it's just a really short video. You're just going to go in and get it done. But this part is what I want you to look at because your post, your initial post is due Wednesday of each week. Wednesday. Wednesday. If you do not get it in by Wednesday, then you get 10 points off unless you have some sort of extenuating circumstance, an emergency, things like that. I'm hoping nobody has any of that stuff because usually it doesn't come out to be something good. However, you know, people have given birth, all kinds of stuff. So you just never know. If you have an extenuating circumstance, let me know. Or a hurricane, thank you, Angeline. Um, if you have an extenuating circumstance, you happen to be in Florida, maybe you lose your power or something like that, just let me know. Or just do it early. How about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So think about it. You can always just do it early. It says by Wednesday, do Wednesday, not start on Wednesday. So you can just do it early if you you know things you know things are coming up, i.e. hurricanes, babies, anything. Um, just try to do it early, but it's due on Wednesday. However, again, if there's an extenuating circumstance, let me know before it is due. Unless it's an accident or something, which I'm hoping nobody has that going on at all. We want everybody to be safe and healthy. However, and let me know before it is due, if you can. Um, and then that way we can make accommodations for, you know, you to have a couple of extra days or whatever. But everybody is due on Wednesday. The post is due on Wednesday. Your reply is due no later than Sunday. So, and we do that because if everybody's posting on Wednesday, you kind of want to read through them and see who you want to reply to, you know, things like that. However, I, <laughs> I encourage all of my students to get everything done by Friday. If you get it done by Friday, then you don't even have to worry about it over the weekend. It's a memory. Huh? You don't have to worry about it. So I encourage you to do it as soon as possible. You, some people do their post on Wednesday and then they do that. They find somebody to reply to 
on Wednesday as well. So they have everything done when it comes to that. So just think about it, but you have to get that original post done by Wednesday. With your replies, and it says in here, I wanna make sure everybody sees this. The, the discussion boards are an opportunity are uh, opportunity for you to interact, engage, and network with peers. Reply posts made only to the instructor may not count towards your grade for this assignment. So be sure to reply to your peers. I always put a post in there. You will see a post in there from me every week to give you an understanding of what is expected. What are we looking for with this discussion question? What, what's happening here? I mean, we're not going to give you a question and just throw it at you and say, figure it out. No, we give you the question and then I give you a really good example of, hey, this is what we're looking for. So go ahead and tackle it, you know, in your own way. So that's what we do. Each week you will see that there is a discussion post by me, which is the first post that'll give you an example of what we're looking for as far as expectations from you. You're not, <laughs> you're not supposed to just um reply to me though so that's why we had to put this in here here the discussions are intended to allow you to interact with each other okay so you need to reply to your classmates any questions okay so you're just going to go through the again the the rubric is there telling you how you get the best grade you can just answer the question fully and please 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 my beautiful, beautiful people, please pay attention to your grammar, okay? So you're gonna go down, look through, and then you go to the discussion post. That's how you get there, this button right there. Please pay attention to your grammar, okay? I know we have all of these awesome devices that we have now, and some of them are not the best when it comes to grammar and checking these eyes, the eyes that don't get capitalized. Ah! We have to make sure that we're paying attention to our, our punctuation, capitalization, sentence structure, all of that stuff. I promise you, I will not be the grammar police, but I will patrol. I'm gonna look at y'all. <laughs> and I will let you know when things need to be fixed or, um, if there's an issue with grammar, I'll let you know. And you know why? Because we don't want you to leave this space without somebody saying, hey, pay attention to this. Yes, <laughs> I love the card, Justin, thank you. <laughs> we don't want you to leave this space without somebody saying, hey, pay attention to this part right here. Because we want you, when you're submitting things to different employers, or maybe you're working in a company after this, I want you to remember that patrol thing. Miss Angel Robinson says she's going to be patrolling. So I want you all to really take that into consideration. Yes, thank you, Harold. We do, I was gonna just talk about Grammarly. Grammarly is an awesome opportunity for you to download and get, a, get some help with the grammar if you need it. Even if you don't, maybe you think you're really good at grammar, but it, it can even help you then. So look at Grammarly and some other things to just make sure that you're looking at it. Thank you, Harold edit your stuff, just reread it. Yes, reread it. Just check after yourself. Thank you, Harold. Blessings to you as well. I just want you all to know that this is something that I pay attention to because I don't want you to leave this space and submit things to people and it looks like a hot mess, to be, to be quite honest. <laughs> and I haven't said anything like, oh, they're here for music, so it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It matters because I don't want you sending things to people that doesn't make any sense. So if we can work on it, you may not be the best at it, but you might get better. So that's all we're looking for. Just to, just do your best to be your best. That's all I ask, ever ask of you. That's it. Okay. And then the last thing for this week is the workbook itself. So this is 1.4 is where you actually submit the workbook. After you finish it, you just read through it, tells you exactly how to do it, what to name it, everything. It tells you everything. But again, to download the workbook, that's 1.2. The entire assignment of 1.2 is downloading this workbook. You go in here, you go down, you click on it, boop. And that's the workbook. And then you start filling it out. You put your name. If you have PDF, you can fill it out, do all the stuff, but just make sure that you're reading through it. It's a fun interactive workbook. It keeps your um, your eyes on it because you know it has different things for you to look at and 
just really interesting different parts of it yes it's talking about cognitive theories and social theories however it really gives you a lot of information without without overwhelming you with like just fact 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 it's not doing that it's just going to give you hey look at this and unrealistic thought and hey what about challenging and investigate so it's just it's a really good inviting uh, opportunity for you to to learn the, the material and just make sure you read through it really good and answer the questions that are given to you. If it says, if it says you complete the behavioral science assignments before the deadline, how can you reward yourself? How would you reward yourself? Read the next one. And then page, page six, this one under humanistic theory, identify one of the four basic needs, physiological, safety, love and belonging, or esteem that you will have to prioritize um, while you are in school. Briefly explain why. So first you are going to do what? You are going to identify one of these. You need to write one of these down. So you will either write physiological safety, love and belonging or esteem. If you don't identify one of them, there'll be points off. I like to go through this that way. I like everybody to get as many points as they can. So I like to go through it so that you know, hey, oh, I got to write one of these. I got to pick one, pick one, write it down. And then you're going to briefly explain why. That's it. Just make sure you do that. So just make, make sure you go through, get all the, all, everything answered. Here, you're going to click here to take this motiv motivation assessment. Click it, take the assessment, put your score there. If your score isn't there, there are points off for that. And you know why we, there's points off because there isn't much to fill out in here, but it's a lot of information. So we wanna make sure the questions that we do ask you, they are answered, okay? And then here you're gonna answer these two questions, both questions. And then you just go on down, you're just gonna keep reading, answer that one, and then answer this one. Three, it says three tips on page 10, make sure you write three, okay? Let's see, Harold said, what do you uh what do you click on was that one of the links at the bottom of the page yes and t lines it'll be just a moment i'm gonna finish answering his question because he put his question up a few minutes before your hand went up so one moment so everything that you click on it gives you a hand so just keep that in mind but just go through, read through it, and you'll know where to click on everything. But it, it tells you, click here, take this the assessment, click here, write this here. So just make sure you do that, okay? And where did you go? T. Lawrence, did you still have a question? Yes, the um score, do you just put a number or? So in order to get the you score, just, you have to click here to yeah. take the motivation assessment. Once you take the motivation assessment, it will give you a score, and that's what you're going to put here. Oh, so where you do where you do that at? You have to click where it says click here. You see, it says click here. Oh, okay. So it will let us go. So it will, you know, take us there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you see how it turns into a hand. It turns into a hand. You know that it's going to take you somewhere. Okay. Like taking your hand and going, let's go. Let's get it going. So okay. that's how you <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. No problem. And that's why I like to go through this because it can be a little bit like, wait, I was supposed to click that? So that's, right. why, <laughs> that's why we like to make sure we go through it because there are things like this in each workbook. So if you know from the first one, the next week you'll get it. The next week, like, okay, where's the thing this week? Okay, click there. I get it. Okay, we got it. We got it, Miss Angel. And that's all we're doing. Okay. So that's why it's in PDF because it's when I when I downloaded the the word, I was like, oh hell no, it was so complicated. Sorry about the thing, but <laughs> it was so complicated. But the PDF, okay, I see. Why. Yes, that's why it's PDF instead of just a regular document. Yep, you got it right. <laughs> Anybody have any other questions? Question, question, question. Okay. So we're going to go back to our slideshow now. <clears throat> we're going to go just a little bit longer today. I just want to make sure you guys got everything down. All right. <clears throat> so we did all of our stuff. Now we're going to get into our roadmap. 
So we're doing uh, the inner, this, right now we're just gonna talk briefly about the intro to behavioral science, defining motivation, discussing motivational theories, and review, and I've already reviewed the week one activity. So, boop, we're done with that. So motivation, let's talk about motivation. Motivation is the, uh, can somebody tell me what you believe motivation is? And you don't have to be thing, right or wrong. That, that thing that make, that keep you going, it's not it's past the feelings, it's more, um, yeah, it's kind of, the, the feeling is there too. So it's something that gives you, it's like that, uh, I'm sorry, the, it's the word I want to say, the background, um, who was I going to say? I'm so sorry. You're fine. Um, I'm glad you're saying something. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that thing that pushes you. It's the fire, the passion. Okay. That okay. You. Yeah. Yes. And Ryan has helped you out. He said the driving force. Yes. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Lewis says a kind of support. Justin says motivation is what drives you to do what you want to do. I mean, Drew, do what you do and the reason for action. See, you got some help. I love the encouragement. Yes. Great job, Benicia. And thank great job, everybody. Trevor says it's the boost or your reason for doing something, which is true. All of those are true. So awesome job, everybody. I'm so glad that we were able to kind of pitch in and kind of help each other with this because it can be kind of tough to try to define motivation and other things when you know we're just getting into the material for the week so to have everybody kind of pitch in and kind of um get that going together it's awesome all righty so motivation is a desire or willingness this is how the book the workbook defines it a desire or willingness to do something in other words, it's that fire, like you were saying, that gets us moving and keeps us striving towards our goals. And today we're going to cover four of the theories of motivation that keep that fire burning while you're in school, pursuing, pursuing your passions, and later when you're also in your industry. So we're going to talk about that. The fire. <laughs> So the motivational theories that we're going to talk about today are humanistic theory, behavioral theory, cognitive theory, and social theory. Okay. Humanistic theory is going to be the first one. So has anybody ever heard of Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Yes, I have. Okay, great. So the first step in being motivated is to have all of your basic needs met and um, are any of you familiar with what those basic needs are anyone I can tell you the humanistic theory is based off the Maslow's hierarchy of needs so when our basic needs are met we are the premises once our basic needs are met, we are able to accomplish our goals and our dreams. Um, but if they aren't met, it's harder for us to stay motivated, i.e. focused enough to get things done. Has anybody, would anybody agree with that? Absolutely. Yes. And Justin says in the military, food, water, shelter. Yep. That's right, Justin. Steven says I have... Um, I had to go uh, out of water all the weekend and the new water heater is here. Basement is flooded all weekend. Oh, goodness. That's not good. Yes. Yep. And Benjamin says oxygen, which is really, yep, that's a basic need. It really is. So if you look at the hierarchy of needs, which is basically like a, a pyramid of needs, you can see how it is structured. So it's structured from the bottom up. And do you know why the most important stuff on the bottom is on the bottom? Because that is your foundation. You need something to stand on. So you will stand on those, ba those basic things that you need in order to survive and be safe, which are including the physiological things. So the first step to being motivated in our needs is to make sure that we have our basic needs met, which are the food, housing, clothing, sleep, 
for some people, sex, and etc. So thinking about that, it's like, hmm, okay, I see what you mean. So what are the basic needs? Esteem. We have esteem, which is feeling good, good about yourself. We have belonging. And belonging is feeling love and belonging and uh, in that security of emotional um, needs. And then we have safety, which is financial security, health, wellness, safety against accidents and injuries. And then we have physiological. And physiological are things such as water, food, air, sleep. So Benjamin, oxygen was in there. So very good, everybody. You guys are giving some great answers. Well, hello, Mr. Lewis. So let's see. It says, for instance, if you're hungry, it's harder to concentrate on trying to do something. Has anybody experienced that? Somebody's trying to tell you something or give you something or ask you a question and you're just hungry. Maybe your head's hurting because you haven't eaten all day. And you're just like, I, I don't even know. Just, just leave me alone. <laughs> it's harder to concentrate and be patient sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's hangry, <laughs> Clarence. When, when you have these basic needs such as hunger looming around you keeping you from focusing on other things. So it's important to check in with yourself and make sure that all of your needs are met and that um, you develop a plan to fill any needs that you have that aren't being met. Thank you. You Lawrence, appreciate it. Um, you might wanna also um, think about how hard it is to listen to a lecture or anything else that you may have to listen to around dinner time or things like that if you haven't met that need of eating and things like that. So if you're finding that your motivation is low, check in with yourself, find out what you may need and fill your cup. Okay. Brittany says, I am snacking on peanut M&Ms right now. There you go, Brittany. M&Ms, peanut M&Ms have a lot of, um, of nutrition because of peanuts so good job <laughs> not the chocolate so much but the peanuts make up for it right <laughs> so great job she's feeling a need people so behavioral theory is the next one now that your basic need is met with your food water oxygen all that good stuff now that that's all taken care of the basis of the be you can think about the behavioral theory which is the basis of it is uh rewarding yourself for a positive behavior, okay? Which then leads to us wanting to engage in that behavior again. So if you do something and you reward yourself with it, you can feel that goodness, that reward, that uh, sense of accomplishment, then you're more likely to engage in, the, in the, the behavior again. Example, getting assignments in on time or completing things from the rubric and getting a good grade if you're getting a good grade because you got it in on time, you did everything you're supposed to, and now you get the good grade, you're more likely to do it again because you're like, oh, I want that grade again. That felt good. You know, so that's one of those rewards. A good grade can be a reward. What are some of the favorite rewards that you may give yourself? And you can either type it in the chat box or you can unmute and share. So if you have done something that you're proud of yourself for or you are excited about or happy that you've done it what are some of the rewards that you've given yourself so trevor says good food yes food yes i knew that. yes the food i agree with the food people i'm a foodie i like trying new food and all kinds of good stuff so that is awesome <laughs> harold says party <laughs> Where are you get a party from in the middle of nowhere? Harold, you just go throw a party. That's awesome. Um, Benjamin says margaritas and karaoke after a difficult uh, work week. Oh, that sounds fun. Why is this sitting back and relaxing? Yes, Wyatt. Yes. I like spas too. I'm such a girl. <laughs> I like spas <laughs> and I like food <laughs> in whatever order. So, I mean, that's just something to think about. It's something that you all, you guys can think about. Hey, maybe I can try this or try that. Some people will get those memberships where they get certain massages every now and then. I'm a little bougie when it comes to my spas though. So I like, <laughs> I usually get the really nice ones. 
I'm okay with being like that. Um, let's see, why it says, um, I agree with the sitting back and relaxing. Lewis says shopping. Okay, Lewis, I like to shop too. <laughs> Anisia says an outfit. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Justin says concert tickets and festivals. Oh, I love festivals. And here they have all kinds of festivals. We have bacon festival, beer festivals, chili festivals. Yes, bacon. It's very exciting. I mean, there's all sorts of festivals here. So I just love that. They have a pie festival too, which is amazing. Yes. The pie festival is so cool. You pay one price, you eat all the pie you want to eat and ice cream. It's so exciting. I feel like I need to go walk just from this conversation. Let's see. Uh, Brittany says concerts and food. Yep. So it looks awesome. Anisia says, yes, I get a massage every month. So that's pretty cool. Yes. And we do have bacon festivals. So these are just some of the things that you can do just to reward yourself. And I think it's awesome that you guys are open to doing that because some people aren't. Some people just work themselves ragged. And then you just wonder, what am I doing all this for? I don't know. I told you to reward yourself. You're sitting around here not rewarding yourself and now you're looking tired. So sometimes it's a good idea. So how right. she do her? I'm sorry? Trevor says, see, I'm going to need to eat good now after this class. Yes, you will. Sorry, that may happen after a few classes that you have with me because I like food. Benjamin says before here, I used to work on have the CDC and I needed all the rewards on a payday. Yeah, I bet that was rough working for the CDC. I have friends that work with the CDC. It's different. It's not what you would think, but it's, you know, we're grateful for people that are there. Um, for example, one of your rewards could be a donut. We have a delicious donut place here. It's called Valkyrie Donuts. I'm have, I have an egg allergy. So they have fresh hot donuts at 10 or 11 o'clock. It's ridiculous. And they're like this big. <laughs> they're like this big. It doesn't even make any sense. I can't make sense of it, but it's delicious. So it's just one of those things where maybe a donut is one of your rewards and they make all kinds. They'll make like a, bananas foster donut or something just something crazy and I just love it and they have another place here called crumble they literally had a banana a banana um what do you call those things it's not a banana cream pie a banana pudding they had a banana pudding cookie I'm done that's it I'm sorry I shouldn't have even I know people are over there hungry right now <laughs> yes Clarence it's fire <laughs> <laughs> so those are some of the rewards that we can think about when we're trying to like say hmm if I get this done then I can reward myself with this so I want you to think about the positive reviews that you give yourself the applause the compensation the validation it doesn't always have to be something that you have to buy sometimes you could just say yeah you did good or just look in the mirror and say you're looking good because maybe you did your exercise or whatever you feel better so sometimes it's just recognizing for yourself, hey, I did this and I'm proud of me because I did it for me. So rewards should, but I want you all to know that rewards should match the task. So if you took the garbage out, <laughs> you don't get to go to Disney because you took out the garbage, okay, friend? <laughs> that, that doesn't match. <laughs> I know, sorry, I'm trying to hold back my story, but it's, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> So it needs to match what you're doing. So if you took the trash out, get a cookie maybe, you know, something like that. Or let's say you clean the, the whole kitchen. I mean, you detail clean the kitchen, like every single crack and crevice that's in that kitchen. Then maybe you can go out and get yourself a dinner somewhere so you don't dirty the kitchen right back up. I mean, things like that, but it, the reward needs to match the task. Okay, that's what we're gonna look at. So then we're going to move on. Yes, that's a great, great excuse. And you see, if you want to get that kitchen detail clean, you got to listen. I did all this hard work. I'm going to the Cheesecake Factory or wherever to get my dinner tonight. So that's awesome. Next, we're going to move into the cognitive theory. With the cognitive theory, it states that our thinking plays a big part in our motivation. Okay. It says that our thoughts have the power to discourage or encourage us. 
that's a, the cognitive theory kind of rules. And there's a cognitive uh, um, therapy that we do as well. I have patients that I've done cognitive therapy with, cognitive behavioral therapy, things like that. And it's basically mostly focused on your thoughts, your choices, uh, how you motivate yourself, excuse me, from within, all of that good stuff. That's the kind of stuff I want you to think about. What does that mean to me, this cognitive theory? So that's what, yes, motive, meditation can be a part of that. So it's just getting your mind in the same place and um, thinking the, in the way that thinking plays a part in your motivation. So that's how that, that links up. And I want you guys to think about what you can uh, do to identify those negative thoughts that impact your, your motivation and practice changing them so that you can really have more positive thoughts than negative thoughts. And remember we were talking earlier about music and I said, that's one of those things that can touch all the parts of your brain or more parts of your brain than anything else. When you put music in it and thinking about you are what you listen to sometimes. So some people can listen to extremely happy music and still be really sad. Some people can flip it around and listen to extremely sad music and still be really happy. But a lot of times what you're putting in, it kind of helps to dictate how you're feeling or it can describe how you're feeling already. How do, we, how do we change that? Encouraging yourself with positive thoughts throughout the day, including music, encouraging interactions and so on, that can help you be more motivated. So what do I mean by interactions? So that's being around people that encourage the motivation inside of you, not people that go, well, oh, you do that? I'm su not surprising. I thought you would, you know, do this or do that. And, you know, just like really judgy, annoying people, just to be quite honest, that aren't going to feed that positive part of you. We rethink those people and how much we interact with them. If we can choose to interact less with them, then we make that choice. And uh, unapologetic, unapologetically, we will make that choice because at the end of the day, your feelings can't override how you make me feel. So if you come over here <laughs> stomping on my little feelings all day, then I'm going to have to walk away and not talk to you as much because it's impacting the way I encourage myself, how I motivate myself and all of that. So I have to think about my feelings as well. So I want you all to think about that. Who are those people in your life? Are there ways to, you know, Maybe that maybe they can be more encouraging if they don't want to do that, possibly letting them know how they make you feel if you feel comfortable with that, or reducing the amount of time that you spend with them. Think about all your options. Those aren't it. Those aren't all of them. So I want you guys to also think you may have thought, I'm not a fan of psychology. Why am I in this class? Anybody thought of that? Why do we not take this class? <laughs> Did anybody think of that? Because I have some students that'll ask sometimes, or they'll just have that look on their face like, yeah, I was thinking that. And the reason why we take it, um, the reason why we acknowledge that thought and feeling that some people have, is because this is an opportunity for, for you to learn something new and kind of present it to yourself like this is an opportunity for me to learn something new. It's a spin on the statement that you may have already had or the question that you have for yourself. So. I really want you all to kind of think about that. Which statement motivates you more? Why am I in this class? Or this is an opportunity for me to learn something new. Practicing self, uh, positive self-talk is, it can be a real game changer when it comes to motivation and making sure that you are constantly encouraging yourself. We're not gonna do it all the time, but just do your best. You don't wanna be the, the rain in your own parade, okay? And then we have social theory. Lastly, we need a support system. Yes, Justin, mantras are powerful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we need a support system to help us keep it all together. <clears throat> so when you think about, hmm, how do, what does that look like to me? And that is where social theory comes in. And having a solid support system that can really help you to stay motivated, especially when times get tough, um, 
Who in your life do you feel like you can turn to when you need a helping hand? Emotional support, someone to give you advice. Who is a part of your support system, would you say? So Justin, uh, let's see. Ryan says the skeleton looked like he was thinking happy thoughts. <laughs> he did look like he was thinking happy thoughts. And these are those, Justin. I used to use them. Yeah, you can use mantras. They, I mean, they're helpful. Who would you say is in your life that is a part of your support system, a part of your encouragement, your emotional support? Uh, Miss Angel, what do you call it when you have a like a person that you can't, you know, you connect with and the accountability? That's what it is. So it's a, a business. I have a business accountability partner. Oh, okay. And oh, that cool. really helps me, like, because I'm because of everything I do is very difficult to just be by yourself, can be by yourself forever. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. one of those uh cognitive, not cognitive, social theory people where okay. I utilize groups to help me stay motivated too, even though okay. I need the other things to help me. But the social theory is one of those. Uh, I, I utilize with a, a business part, I put business partner, but a business, what is that called again? I forgot the name again. Accountability. Accountability, accountability partner. partner. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And it's good that you bring that up because a lot of people don't think about the fact that they, an accountability person can be emotional support as well as encouragement for them. You know, they can keep you accountable, but they can also encourage you, help you stay focused. And all of that good stuff. So that's a that's thank you so much for sharing that, Nicia. We appreciate it. Hashan says human humanistic theory. Hashan is the basic needs, right? It involves the basic needs. So the humanistic theory has four different things inside of it, and it involves the basic needs. So when you look through the workbook, you'll be able to see more about it, and then it'll stick a little bit better because then you can see it. We've heard it. We're gonna watch. You're gonna watch something on it in the workbook, and it's just all it's all gonna come together. Very well. Justin says, my family, my girl, my babies, my parents, my friends, and anyone who likes music I put out. Okay, that's good, Justin. Great job. So I want you guys to kind of think about that, who those people are in your life. Also, you can have your advisor. Your advisor can be one of those people that you can call if you need help with anything like that. In addition to your friends and your family, you have a whole support system here at LA Film School. So that includes your advisor, your um, your IT help team, but also me as your instructor or whoever your instructor is, if, I'm, if you're just joining my live. We are a part of your support system and as well as your classmates. So you may find a classmate that you're like, oh, this guy's pretty cool, or this girl's pretty cool. You know, we're able to talk about this and that and think about the, the lessons and kind of really understand what's happening. That's what all of this is for. That's what the, the social part of it is for. Now that we reviewed all, we reviewed all the theories, um, and you guys have gone through the workbook, you have a better idea of what we're expecting for this week. We've already gone over the discussion board and the best ways that you can start to build relationship with your classmates and all that good stuff. And I know all this looks familiar because we kind of talked about it already with the discussion boards. Does anybody have any questions at all about it? No? Okay. That's good. Reply to classmates as we talked about, not to me. And again, grammar, grammar, grammar. Oh, that grammar. Get your grammar together. Okay, so make sure that you work on your grammar basis. Okay, because <laughs> I'm going to be, woo, woo. I'm going to be patrolling the grammar. I promise you, but I'll be sweet about it. I'll try to be as sweet as possible and just let you know, hi there. Hi, you didn't, uh, you didn't capitalize all those eyes, baby. So just make sure you get it done so that you don't have any points coming off. And I'm really going to be looking at a lot more this week, next week. That way, hoping the last two weeks, you already got it. You're like, okay, this is what she's looking at. This is what she talked about. Oh, I see. It's a run on sentence. It's like four lines. I don't have a period anyway. So just think about things like that. Any questions about that? <laughs> All right. So we are done with this part of it. We have introduced the behavioral science to find the motivation, discussed the theories, went over the activities. You know what you need to do to fuel your passions when it comes to motivation and all that good stuff. So we are good to go. If anybody has any questions, please let me know. Anybody? We're good? 
Okay, you're very welcome. Well, just let me know if you have any questions. You can always email, and it's all in the it's all in the LMS. You're welcome, Justin. You're welcome, Brittany. And thank you, Miss Nicia. You can always email, or you can call because there's a number in there. You can text. Or you can just send a message in the LMS if you have any questions at all. Okay, everybody? I have ready? a question. Yes. Um, so we can email you anytime. Like, what day are you available? So I have office hours. I'm mostly, um, I'm in the office if you want to call or something from about 9.30 to 1.30, Monday through Friday. Okay. okay. And, That's and you can just message me in the LMS. I think that might even be easier. Because the LMS has a message thing, and you can just message right through there if you have any questions. If you're in one of the, you're welcome, guys. You're welcome, Wyatt, Trevor, Harold, Lewis, Walker. You're all welcome. Thank you. But if you have any questions, you can always email me as well. Thank you so much. But I, it's really easy for you to do it through the LMS. You are so welcome. <laughs> 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 all right, y'all. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll stick around for a few minutes if anybody has any questions, so they can let me know, and I will stop the recording now. <laughs>